Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Claudia. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are someone who is a regular, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. You know, every like and share and subscriber I get, it really does help boost my channel and it helps me provide more content for all of you. So I appreciate it. So thank you very much. Um, today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually excited to be doing this video. You know, for some time now, I've been wanting to get a new pair of loafers and, you know, loafers are always so difficult because sometimes they're cute but they're not comfortable and I you know I really wanted a pair that was going to be comfortable so in this video I do want to share with you my personal opinion what I think about these shoes if they're comfortable I'll also share you know why I bought them and what I don't like about them and things like that but the big thing is um, you know these are the Gucci horse bit loafers and I'm gonna show them to you from the front so you can see them they're black leather. They are uh, black. They're pretty slim. You could see that they're flats. So I did want flat shoes. I do a lot of travel, a lot of business uh, stuff that I really, I mean, as much as I love to wear a nice pump or a heel, I just can't do it. So I, I'm always looking for a nice, good pair of flats. So this is my first Gucci pair of loafers that I've ever bought. And I was kind of torn between a couple different styles. It looks like they do sell quite a few different styles. And you know, from everything that I read and everything that I just, I saw online, I ended up going with this one. I think I've seen some people call this the convertible loafer because the heel, you know, you can like, you know, you can, you can slide your foot in and you can keep the heel like that, you know, bent down. So they're supposed to be, I think, I think if you buy them like at Neiman Marcus or Saks, they're called, I think the convertible um, loafer. But if you go to the website on Gucci, the website, you'll see the shoe. I mean, they have a picture on the website where it just really, I'll put it in the description as well. So you have the link of the, this exact shoe because there are quite a few shoes on the Gucci website that look exactly like this. But anyway, I want to just jump right in and start going through the details. So just by looking at the shoe, you can see that it does have, you know, the hardware here, really pretty hardware. It's all soft, really, really soft leather. And, you know, obviously because you can bend the heel, I mean, it's super soft. I'll tell you that, you know, one of the things like where I get the most blisters is usually here on the heel. And then I'll get the blister somewhere around here, like by my toes. This has a really soft, soft, soft back. Uh, the inside is super soft leather. It almost feels like butter, you know, I don't know how else to describe it, but it's super smooth and super soft. The back of the shoe looks like this. You can see they're still new. I mean, I've worn them around the house just to see if I needed to break them in, but they're honestly super comfortable. I don't think I'm gonna, I will have to break them in at all, but it does have like a little bit of rubber here, but the rest of it is like the untreated leather and it's really smooth, very slippery. So, you know, I already kind of pretty much told you why I bought these shoes. So I did buy them because I wanted a good pair, a good designer, comfortable pair of loafers that could last me for a very long time. And I find myself always going through dress shoes. I rotate dress shoes all the time. I honestly, quite honestly, I don't spend a lot of money on my, usually on my dress shoe loafers. I just buy whatever I see. Sometimes I'll buy a Steve Madden that's a leather shoe that looks good. A year or two later, it's, you know, it's time to get rid of them and I have to buy a new one. So this time I thought I would spend a little bit extra money and get a good pair that hopefully will last me, hopefully for the next 10 years. You know, I don't know how long these will last, but I'm hoping that they last me for a very long time, especially if I take care of them. So that's why I bought them. Uh, what I really love about them is that they're really soft. They're super, super soft. I and mean, that's a plus for me. I will say... I've worn them around the house and they don't hurt my feet at all. Like I'm shocked at how comfortable these shoes are. These are probably hands down the most comfortable loafers I have ever bought ever. Uh, so I did, that's what I love about it. What I don't like about these shoes, I don't like how the bottom is untreated and it's slippery. I feel like I could slip with that. I am going to mention that I am going to be sending these off. And I'm going to be actually, I use Raggle Brothers. I know some people use the Cobbler Shoe Company, but I use Raggle Brothers a lot. They're just really good. And they've actually, they did all of my rubber soles for all of my Christian Louboutin shoes because those are also very slippery shoes. And I've been very happy with them. So I'm actually going to be sending these out this week, adding just rubber. I'll put, I'll have a rubber, rubber from here to here. And this will probably stay, you know, the way it is. And then also add a rubber sole here and then get, get them also moisture. I want them to get conditioned and also water resistant, sealed, protected. You know, I did watch a video where a girl actually had these shoes and she had them 
just they did the extra protection on them so that the bottom looked really nice. And I do think that there might be some value in being able to protect your untreated leather now before you start using them and you get the marks. Because once you start using them and you start getting marks, you won't be able to do that. So that's why I want to do it. I want to be proactive and do it now. So you will, I, I do want to share that video with you later. Once I do get them, even if it's a quick shorts video, I do want to show you how they ended up, but I will say these are really, really comfortable. I mean, if you're looking for a new pair, hands down, awesome. What I'm going to do now is this is going to be a short and sweet video. I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick mod shot so you can see what they look like on. I am wearing some fit and flare jeans from Good American. So just to give you perspective what these could look like with some jeans. So I'll go ahead and stand up now and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what they look like from the front. If you're looking from the front, you can see how nice that is. I mean, they're pretty flat. I'll show you from the back. You know, I'll go ahead and just like lift, you know, oh, let me show you the side too. I'm going to lift my pants up a little bit because I do want you to get a good view of what they look like. But you can see this is what they look like from the side. Super cute. Okay, you know, the last thing I just wanted to mention was if you're looking about, um, interested in knowing more about the sizing of these shoes, I will say I typically wear a 6.5, so I'm a 36.5. Across the board, I'll be honest, like usually if I'm wearing loafers, it's usually a 36.5, maybe a 36 if they run big. But I will say that with these shoes, they run really big. I actually walked into the store and tried on a 36 and a half and they were huge. I couldn't even, my foot just came right out. Then I tried a 36 and they were still big i actually ended up having to order a 35.5 so an entire size down so they unfortunately didn't have that size in the store i do have smaller feet but i would suggest that you know if you have a gucci store near you that you do go to the store and try them on because all of our feet you know is all is very different but i will say just from what i was hearing from the sales associate everyone usually sizes a half to one size down so just as perspective if you're looking for these shoes i will say if you can get your hands on a pair where you can try them on in the store i'd say go for it it's probably going to be worth it but i do hope to do a review for you just a follow-up review on these on how they're the wear you know the wear and tear and how they're holding up and once i get the sole protectors on i do want to show you what they look like so i'll jump back on and do another quick video but as always thank you so much for visiting my channel and i'll see you next time